Salutations, Membrinos, for your first video for members only, and this one is a good one, mate. Oh, is this one going to be a good one? Because this is, as the title suggests, one of the most underrated features that you've probably never seen or heard about, at least in a long time in Inventor. It's the Engineer's Notebook, mate. It's been around since Cat was a kitten for a long time, but you, you rarely ever hear about this. But it's awesome. Uh, it, it came up in conversation in one of the, the previous live streams and I started digging into it. I always knew it was there, but I never really knew the full extent of it. But once you start digging into it, you're like, mate, this is class. Imagine you had an actual paper notebook. You most of you do have a paper notebook on your desk and you just jot notes in it. You know, as, you, as you're doing a design, you, you're scribbling down notes, you, you're taking, I don't know, you're writing down bits and pieces relevant to the design and it's all in a bit of paper uh, using a pen. Well, that you can do that digitally and store those notes in the model. And link in files as well. You can embed PDFs, Excel files, you know, calculation sheets, reports, whatever you want to do. You can embed those files in a notebook in the model. It's class. So there's a number of different ways of doing it and a number of different ways of attaching the notes. But to keep it simple, you can open up a part or an assembly, go to the top level browser node and then right click on it and then go to create a note. And that'll attach a note to the top level of the part. You can also do it at feature level. You can say, I want to create a note against like an extrusion or a fillet or a hole. So if you want to create a note against a particular hole, you can also do that. You can say, create a note uh, against a particular feature. Uh, where if I can find where the bit, there it is. It uh, moves up and down based on which right click menu you want. But uh, right click on the top level node and then create note. And you get this cute little notepad. I see the little, little ring binder up the left there. But that was super exciting back in the day you know it's because it's been in there for so long and when the inventor was really dreary back in the day and someone came up with this little ring binder graphic i bet that was dead exciting <laughs> back in the you know, back in the olden days anyway you've got this sort of ring binder representation here and this is your first note so you you, you get given this sort of post-it note style comment here and then a, a picture which, which isn't really a picture mate this is this is a, a dynamic updatable view of the model which you can move around like i say it, it is it's like one note really you can you can pick these up and sort of scatter them around and organize them how you want it to look and it, it's not it's not formal it doesn't go anywhere beyond this notebook area so you can put this wherever you want it to be and it'll only ever appear in this notebook so it's for your own records it's just for your own you know, organization but you can say right i'm gonna create and you can you can use this to document the design as well so if you want to like just make a mental note of how the design was right now. You can say, right, this is a note. And then you can say, I don't know, uh, this is the design at, I don't know, 27th May, well, 11.30 or 11.40 AM or whatever. It's like I said, this isn't a picture. You can actually right click on this and you can, you've got the whole suite of zoom commands and navigate commands here. You can zoom in and out. You can right click and then go to orbit and then it may it's awesome you can even change the uh the go from shaded to wireframe if you go to right click display wireframe mate it's it's class absolutely class where has this been all my life uh, i accidentally clicked freeze there but this this freeze option here is a way of saying right if you freeze the view it will it will never update the picture in that view as the design changes over time. And that, like I said, that's a way of documenting this this model as it's changing over time. So if we freeze that, when I if I go into the model and cut a hole through it, that cut hole won't appear in this picture. So we'll do it. Actually, I'm gonna keep that on. I'm gonna keep freeze view on. You can make the uh, you can make the view bigger by grabbing the corners and just make that you know, stretch it out. Uh, you can create new views, you know, you click the button view at the top there and then make a new view, make a new comment, like that and you know, you can have as many as you want. Yada, 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 yada. You can create arrows and then you play the game of if when I click the left mouse button, is the arrow head being drawn first or is it, you know, which way do I pull the mouse button? Is it like, that? damn it, it's, it is the other way. <laughs> arrow from there down to there, you know. Right click and okay. And then you've got your little notes and you can call them out and, you know, point your stuff. It's not technical documentation. It's not tech pubs. It, you know, it's not going to light a candle to that kind of software. It's just for your own notes. So on the left-hand side, you've got the browser here. This organizes all your notes. So you can see it's created the first one. It's called it Note 1. You can rename that. And you can say this is just, I don't know, general design history, for example. I don't know. And then you've got comment 1, view 1, view 2, and then comment 2. So that's obviously comment 1 there. And then that's comment two over there. And when you click finish the notebook, it disappears, the note vanishes, 
and then you're back to invented general modeling mode. The note that you've created though, you've got this little glyph now hovering around the model, which they can be quite annoying if you don't know what they are. Because you see them flying around the screen like this and you can't hide them. You, you can't turn them off. There's no way of toggling them on or off, but uh, <laughs> you can't make them bigger either. They're just, they're just there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, but in the browser on the left-hand side, you've got a little, if you, if you create the note against the top browser node and do create note that way, it creates this notes uh, entry here in the browser where you can expand and then right click on your nodes uh, for general notes. And then you can either delete it or display the note and then jump back in, finish the notebook, and then you can get in and out of it through there. Or you can just double click on the little glyph. That'll take you in, finish the notebook. Uh, but yeah, hovering over it, you'll see like a rough sort of preview of the note. This is the design data. That's the first comment in the note. If you think to yourself, How, hang on a minute, where, where did it get your name from? I don't remember typing my name in. Where did it get my name from? Well, that's being pulled if you go into your application options from this username bit here. So whatever you've got typed in there as a username, that's what it automatically maps into the engineer's notebook. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's the first note. If you want to create additional notes, you can just go right click, uh, create a new note, and then you get this second note. So note two now, and then you're just free to crack on. It makes this the second note, you know, whatever else. I'm not going to carry on creating. You notice this video going forever, but but with regards to linking in files. Let's do that. Let's link in a let's link in a report. So uh, we'll call this uh, a report, uh, which means we probably don't need a. Uh, no, we'll keep the view in. So we'll zoom in. We'll do a zoom window. So sort of around there maybe, and then we'll put a note in here to say. Oh, it's a little bit frustrating to try. Like what I'm doing, I've got the cursor right after the zero, and I'm pressing return. And it's not going down to the next level. It is not the it's not the best. Like you've got to left click down there to get the right. So uh, report report from I don't know uh, supplier or something or whatever. Uh, return return. So if you want to import a file, what you do is you right click, and then you've got insert new object. You've also got it appear on the toolbar insert object. So insert new object. You can create a new file, but it's probably you're probably more likely to insert something that you've already got. So create from file, click browse, and then navigate to the file that you want to link into the notebook. Uh, you can browse to a mapped drive. You can browse to uh, a local folder, wherever you want the file to be from. So click desktop in my example, go to this PDF, uh, select display as the icon, and then you can either link or embed. If you want to link, uh, it'll obviously create a link between, between the inventor model and the original file on the network or your desktop. If you don't click link, it'll embed the entire file into the notebook or into the inventor part file. So if, you're embed, if you've got like a 10 megabyte PDF, it'll embed 10 megabytes worth of PDF into your model. So you've just got to take that into account. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to select link in this case and then click OK. And then you get this little icon up there and then click finish the notebook. And then that's now linked in. Let's role play here. I'm now somebody else and I'm, oh, okay, I've got this. Okay, Jim's just worked on this model. I'm going to look at his notes. Okay, he's got a report in here, I see. I'm going to open that up. Okay, there's a report. And you double click that and then it'll open up PDF viewer and then it's linked. It's taking me straight to the, the linked file on the network. That's really powerful. That's awesome because that can link to all kinds of spec sheets, calc sheets, templates, you name it. Everyone's got something different that they could potentially link to from a file to something on the network. Uh, and it's, yeah, super powerful. And all the notes are all, like I say, they're all categorized up here in the browser. One Another thing to be careful of, though, is it's all well and good if you create a note from the top browser. What it's not well and good with is if you create a note on a face or a feature. Well, actually, I think the face is all right. It's a feature. So, like, for example, if I... Uh, create a note against that whole feature there, right? We'll do create note. And then I don't need, I don't need to type anything. I just click finish notebook. Uh, so there's the note there. But if I expand the notes folder in the browser, it's not there. It's not there. It When you create a note against a feature, it only shows the note underneath the, the, the feature in the tree. You see what I mean? It's there. It, it puts that note underneath there, whereas the rest of them are up there. I don't like that. I think that I think they should just do away with that. That note should be up here. You, you can't you can't move it. Doesn't let you 
It doesn't let you drag it up or anything like that. So it, the, the notes become a little bit fragmented. Uh, and in a busy model, you see how the note little glyphs hidden behind, you know, it, it, it can get lost. So it'd be very easy to, to miss some of these notes. So yeah, mate, that's that's the engineer's notebook. It's it's super powerful, it's super useful, it's it's optional, you don't have to use it, but it's uh it, you know, it's 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 there to be used if you, if you feel like you need to or you've got a, a need to communicate information between teams. If there's information that you could do with embedding in the models, obviously don't go overboard with embedding files into your parts or else the the file sizes will stack up really quickly. It'll also work on assemblies as well, by the way, mate. If you go into an assembly, you can also attach notes to components. So you can right click on a component and then create a note against an actual component. It's really difficult to find the create note. There it is, create note. And then you can uh, physically write a note against a part file. Uh, create a note. There you go. So there's that note there. Uh, it's actually, it's that one there. Uh, and then that note will be under the browser node of uh, the part. See, it's, yeah, I prefer that note to, to be in the folder up here rather than tucked under there. So th th yeah, I think it's because it's not that it's not used that much. I think that's why it's like there's, there's still room for improvement with it. You know, they, they only put the development into areas where people tend to use the software more. And if it's not used all that much, it's like, oh, I, you know, I don't think we need to put that much time into it if not many people are using it. So anyway mate yeah uh, and one more thing i found as well which was a bit uh, a bit funky but it it, it just it, it's fine it just you just need to be aware of it is when you when you're inside the notebook and you're using a sort of previous and next note and you're cycling between your notes i click next note and like nothing happens I'm like why is it not going to the next note like it should be looking at the next note now if you move your mouse into the notepad and then click next note click it it, it, it's weird. It sometimes doesn't refresh and, until like you do that and move it in and click. So yeah, it, it's a bit glitchy in some areas, but overall it's it's sturdy. It serves a purpose. And I think it's, there's a lot of value there for, for people who want to sort of store data in there and, and, uh, and communicate information that might be of value. So, or I, I think that's awesome. I think that's awesome. Hopefully you did too. So Again, thanks a lot for being members, mate. That's uh, you, you guys are the backbone of the channel. These are, these are awesome. So I'm going to try and create as many of these as possible. Uh, I can't I, I can't guarantee how, how many of these I'm going to create. Uh, I'm going to try and pitch for maybe one or two a month if I can do. Um, I'm not going to just create videos for the sake of them. So they have to be as useful as I can make them. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm waffling now. <laughs> anyway, cheers, mate. I'll see you in the next one. Toodles.